Hi, this is Angela and Tammy from Chesapeake College. We wanted to submit this PowerPoint presentation so you could take a look at it and have all of your questions answered regarding dual enrollment. We would normally be doing this information session at the high school, but because of COVID-19, we are making some changes to how we register and all that information will be in this PowerPoint. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know regarding dual enrollment and taking classes at Chesapeake College, whether you are a new or current student. So what is dual enrollment? This is a great opportunity for you to take college and career classes while you're in high school. It'll allow you to finish college faster. And also, if you're not sure what it is you'd like to do after graduation, you can explore different fields of study. Who can take dual enrollment courses? Hopefully everyone that is listening to this PowerPoint right now. You have to be a junior and a senior, at least 16 years of age or older, and you need a 2.5 GPA to take all of our general education and career pathway courses. So if you have a 2.5 GPA, you're able to take all of those classes. Now, many of our students would like to take English and math with us, and if that's the case, you would need a 3.0 overall GPA to take English courses and a 3.0 overall GPA and also a grade of C or better in Algebra 2 to take any of our college level math or science classes. This is a great way to get dual credit. For example, many counties have the option that if you want, if you would take our English class with us and get college credit, then that would give you credit for your fourth year English class. The same way for math, if you would take a college math class with us, you could possibly have an opportunity to get credit for your senior year math class. If you have questions about that, please send us an email. Our contact information is in the end of this PowerPoint. What colleges accept dual enrollment credits? That's a huge question that we get all the time is that you want to make sure the classes you're taking are actually going to transfer to a four-year school. And our classes will transfer to all Maryland state schools, for example, Towson, Salisbury, College Park, and many private and out-of-state schools. We do recommend that you reach out to those private and out-of-state schools just to get verification that they will accept our classes. We've also found that if you're wanting to go out of state, and a lot of times if you keep your syllabus and submit that to your out-of-state university registrar's office, then once they look at the syllabus, they can see that it's the exact same class that they offer at their university, and they will give you credit for that. We do have a transfer advisor here at Chesapeake that we'd recommend that you meet with Connie Dean, our transfer advisor, within the next few months, as soon as you figure out where you're gonna be going to school, because she can help you come up with an academic plan to be able to transfer all of those classes and only take classes that you need to take. How much does it cost? So for dual enrollment students, you do receive a 25% discount on tuition, and then you also get an additional 10% from the Board of Education for the first four classes. So in a nutshell, one college course, which is equivalent to three class, three credits, costs $418. Now, if you receive free and reduced meals, you only need to pay the cost of the fees. So it is a huge savings for you. Just to compare how much you would be saving if you start taking dual enrollment now while you're in high school, we mentioned the Chesapeake College dual enrollment class is $418 approximately. If you would take that same class at an in-state school, it would be about $1,000. So you are saving a lot of money. We were talking about those private and out-of-state schools earlier. For example, Washington College, one class cost at the minimum $4,800. Now that does include tuition and board, but it's still every class you can get done now while you're in high school is going to save you a lot of money. How do I pay? The payment for your dual enrollment class must be made on or before January 6th. We do have county grants that could be available and it's based on eligibility. 
So it's based on how many people are in your family and your total family income. If you feel like you may qualify, it is definitely worth it to submit that form to us. If you are in Caroline or Dorchester County, you absolutely want to submit the forms because there are additional funding available that you could possibly qualify and receive the money. We also recommend a payment plan. And if you set up a payment plan as soon as you register, the better off you'll be because then you will only have to put down, you would have the least amount of money to put down. So we can give you information about the payment plan. The payment for our spring classes must be made on or before January 6th. Which classes should I take? So dual enrollment students, we recommend that you take general education classes because a lot of you may not know what you want to major in or where you want to go to school, and you are going to need these general education classes no matter what. So we recommend the communications and English, a wellness for life, which is like a health class, psychology, sociology, art, music, theater. There are so many choices that a dual enrollment student can take, and Tammy and I can help you pick out the best choice for you. Now for our spring classes that will start the end of January, they will be online again, just because we do not know what's gonna be happening at each of the high schools and about the COVID, if it's gonna be increasing over the winter time. So our classes will be online. We may offer a few synchronous online classes like you're used to taking at the high school, and you will be able to see that on our website under search for courses, and there will be a note section letting you know what time the synchronous class is going to be occurring. Um, we do hesitate. It may be difficult for a dual enrollment high school student to take a synchronous class because they could be the same time as your high school course. So if you have questions about that, make sure you ask Tammy and myself. And the majority of our classes will be asynchronous online, meaning you can log in whenever and wherever that is convenient for you. We do recommend that you log in every day just so you do not miss any information. We're also going to have many classes that are designated just for high school students. So if you're able to register early enough and receive a seat in one of those classes, then it would be almost like you're taking a class at the high school with your peers. We're not going to be offering any classes at any of the high schools for this semester, but we do have many classes that will be designated just for high school students. So if that's something you're interested in, that would be fantastic. Now, you don't have to take those classes. You can take any class out there. A lot of times our instructors, they don't even, they're not even able to tell the difference between a high school dual enrollment student and a traditional college student. So our dual enrollment students are successful in any type of class. And if you have more questions, Tammy and I can definitely help you with that. Can I take an honors course? Absolutely. If you have a 3.0 GPA, we recommend that you take an honors course. It really does look great on your resume, and it could also possibly help you if you transfer into a university into that honors program. It's allowing you to help get um, opportunities for transfer and scholarship opportunities, and it's a much smaller class size. So we have classes that are designated honors where it's a smaller class size and you're really working on different projects than you're used to doing as opposed to just reading and taking tests. It's a lot more engaging, but you can turn any course into an honors course by reaching out to your instructor that first day of class and they can go over that information with you. If you have any, if you have any questions, please let Tammy and myself know. Once the campus is open, then you'd be able to take advantage of our honors lounge, which has free printing and snacks and just a great place for our honor students to go and complete their work and the instructors, a lot of them have offices in that honors lounge, so you're able to contact them right away if you need questions about any assignments. How do I get started? So your very first step is to apply to Chesapeake if you've never taken a course before. If you are a current dual enrollment student, you will not need to reapply. The second step is to talk to your guidance counselor. This is for a couple reasons. One, we want them to make sure that you are qualified to take a class, and we want to make sure that if you need a specific class, like a math or an English or an art, you are aware and that we can help you with that. 
The other thing is to make sure your guidance counselor knows so they don't give you a full schedule at your high school. Your next step is to complete the dual enrollment certification form. Every student has to do this. Even if you are a current dual enrollment student, you will need to resubmit this form every semester. We will send that form out through your guidance counselors and you can also contact myself or Angela and we will get, um, get them out to you. If you want to apply for the grant to help pay for the class, you also need to submit that form every semester. The last step is to register for classes with myself or Angela. Registration starts November 18th and you can certainly turn in paperwork before then. So if you get your certification form and your grant form done and you've talked to your counselor and you've applied, reach out to us. We can help you pick a class and get all the paperwork done so that on November 18th, all you have to do is, all we have to do is turn in the paperwork and all you have to do is pay your bill by January 6th and you're set to go. So, as I just mentioned, we need the certification form and the grant form. They do need to be uploaded. We ask you to upload them to us rather than email because email is not as secure and we'd wanna keep your private information as secure as possible. The link is right here on this page. Just click on it and you will get a page that looks just like what's on this screen. That little yellow highlighted area is what shows up after you have uploaded. So once you hit select or drop files, you pick the file you want and hit upload, that little yellow area comes up. It's obviously not yellow, but that is what changes. Nothing else on the page changes. It doesn't say thanks for your submission or upload successful or anything like that. So we wanted to make sure you knew that it would just be that one little change. When we ask you to tell us what class you want, it, we want you to go in and search for courses. If you go to the Chesapeake College homepage and go to the upper right hand corner, there is a page that says search for courses. Click that link. These yellow boxes are what you should fill in. Under term, pick fall or spring, spring 2021. Subject, put English, communications, history, whatever you want. And then if you know the course number, you can put it in there. If you don't know, that's okay. Just hit submit and you'll get a page that looks like this. On this page, this shows you all of the options. This is just a snapshot. It is not all of the options, but when you are on the web page, it will give you all of them. You want to pick a class that says open in that second column. The third column, the which is the second one that's highlighted, it will give you the um, class name. And if you click on that, you'll get a description of the class as well. The other column to pay attention to is that far right column. It will give you any specifics about the class. You can see from what I've highlighted that that class was for dual enrollment students only. So other students were not allowed to pick that class. You will also see for the spring classes that have a set login time and set login and face to face time. So Monday, Wednesday at 1030. That will all be noted in that far right column that there is expected face-to-face -face time. We do not recommend you do that for dual enrollment simply because we don't know what your high school schedules are gonna be like and you might have a conflict. After we've registered you for classes, if you need to change your schedule, you must get in touch with your guidance counselor and have their permission to make a change because they will probably have to fill in a class on your schedule. Once you've done that, reach out to myself or Angela and we will get your schedule changed. If you do this before classes start on January 27th, you will get a full refund, no fees. If you do it on January 27th or any time after, there will be fees and you will not get your full refund. As I just mentioned, classes start Wednesday, January 27th, so we have plenty of time, but unfortunately with the holidays, that will be here before we know it. So make sure you're getting everything done as soon as possible. If possible, try and get it done before Thanksgiving so that way you don't have to worry about it over the next couple months. Thank you so much for your time and we will see you virtually at the peak.